Look, for those who don't know me, my name is uh, Detective, Detective Inspector Bob Hitch from the Brisbane West um, District. Uh, I've got two purposes uh, today for the media release. The first is in relation to um, seeking public assistance in relation to an attempted abduction which occurred uh, early this morning, sometime just after 8 o'clock uh, at Anogra. And the second is also um, purpose is to just make people aware and to be vigilant uh, in relation to uh, in and around the schools in relation to suspect persons. Um, what's occurred is just after 8 o'clock this morning, a female student from one of the local um, private schools um, was walking from the Inogra uh, railway station. She was walking from Pickering Street um, near the Pickering Street Wardell Street overpass. She was walking up the um, the uh, entry ramp uh, onto Wardell Street, come South Pine Road, uh, when she was approached by a stranger who grabbed her, has dragged her into the nearby park and bushlands. Um, now, during the attack, the uh, the student, a 13-year-old girl from the school, has uh, bravely put up um, some resistance and, and has fought with her attacker and has been managed uh, has managed to be able to get away, uh, attend her local school, and uh, police were uh, notified. Um, the girl herself is currently still assisting police uh, with uh, inquiries. Uh, her parents have been notified. The local school has been notified. Um, we have also reports from other students um, approximately 10 minutes um, before this um, incident took place who report seeing a, uh, a male of a similar description in that area acting very suspiciously. Um, we're treating this as um, very serious. Uh, we've had police on the ground um, today. We've conducted searches of the local area. We've done door knocks. Um, we're still taking statements from possible witnesses. I'm hopeful that we may be able to have a confit uh, to be able to give it to you later on, um, but it's early stages of our investigation at the moment. Um, that's basically the appeal. I have a description. The description is um, a vague description, but there are some parts of the description that uh, I'm quite certain will be able to jog someone's memory out there or be able to um, uh, hit a chord with members of the public. The male attacker is uh, he's male, a Caucasian, um, approximately 176 um, in height, thin build. The distinctive characteristics is that he's got short hair which is receding from the front. Uh, he has an earring or a stud in one of his ears and he has been described as having a, a squinty or a lazy eye uh, and at the time of the attack he was wearing an oversized white coloured t-shirt cum um, uh, singlet top. Um, they're relatively uh, sort of striking descriptions and I'm quite certain that our attacker may be someone within the local area. So we're appealing for people in the local area um, who may have uh, seen this person today or have may, may have seen that person in and around that parkland or in Wardell Street on Pickering Street um, over the last um, week or so. We, we ask that they come forward and contact us easily through um, the Crime Stoppers number, 1800 333 000. Oh, just, uh, could you confirm, was she 13 or 14? She's a 13 year old. Was she injured in any way? Look, um, She's bravely put up a fight. She's not seriously injured, but she's certainly been shaken, uh, and there was um, some physical uh, elements to the assault. Was she sexually assaulted? Uh, look, uh, I won't go into that, but no, she she hasn't. The attack took place very quickly, and she's been able to quickly make her escape. But obviously, she and you think that was the intent of the event. Look, we can't rule out um, what the motive would have been. Uh, that certainly would have been would be one of our lines of inquiry. So other people saw this person but were not approached or...? Uh, look, a couple of the girls at this stage, and we're still going through seeking witnesses, and we appeal for anyone in the local area, especially the school community, to come forward. Um, but a couple of the girls uh, uh, from the same school um, were walking ahead of this uh, student and has uh, seen this um, man behaving in a strange behaviour. They've been able to um, walk around him without any sort of incident, um, but um, he certainly gave them the creeps. What's your message for um, young girls walking to school by themselves? Well, the mes best message is to travel in pairs where possible. Uh, and uh, the, the girls in the earlier group were walk walking as a pair and they, they did act as a pair. They, um, they both were suspicious and they took um, um, uh, actions. That part of the street at that time of the day is, is a very sort of busy sort of area for um, school traffic, especially from the Inogla, Inogla um, Rail Station. Um, so the easiest message is to travel in pairs and to report any suspicious behaviour um, straight away. Um, 
we're, we're unable to respond unless people report, um, you know, behaviour. If, if if they think it's bad, they should report it and uh, let the police do their work from there. She, uh, she, she screamed or yelled and fled up up toward the school. I mean, did it? She's, she's, look, she's put on a brave fight. She's, um, she's uh, physically fought with her attacker and has been able to make her escape, and that's where she's gone to the school. Can you tell us what school it was? Oh, look, in, for privacy reasons for the school, I'm not, but, you know, it's a, a local private school in that area. Um, was uh, the attacker on foot or in car? Is there anything...? We have no motor vehicle associated with our attacker at this stage. Uh, we believe the attacker uh, is, on, is on foot and... Um, it was predominantly hanging around that parking park area there. There's a bit of a bit of a creek, a bit of um, green area. Is there any? Um, has there been any other similar incidents like that in the area in the last sort of couple of months? Or? No, we've had um, no similar incidents um, in the later stage, last um, uh, the late stages of last year, and, and none this year in that area. You can say you might do it again. Oh, look, certainly, and that's the, that's the purpose of our appeal, to seek assistance so we can um, identify and catch this person and uh, just to make people aware that um, there are these sorts of people out there. Was she wearing earphones? Uh, look, I can't comment, uh, but not to my knowledge. Given the uh, nature of the area, it's a pretty brazen attack, would you say? It is, um, uh, because of the time of the day. Today's a very um, wet day, as you know, and, uh, of course, that uh, reduces the amount of foot traffic. Um, there's a lot of school buses leave from the Inogra um, rail station. But look, uh, it's still, you know, considered to be a... It would be a brazen attack in my view. Why do you think he's from the local area? Oh, just the nature of the attack and um, the manner in which the attack's taken place. Uh, it, look, uh, we can't rule out that it's someone who uh, lives locally, someone who can um, travel by foot. Was he, was he... Was she approached from behind after she after he passed, she'd passed him? I won't go into the dynamics except to say that the strangers uh, prodded her on the, on the street itself. So you've been door knocking, what will you do now, how will your investigation proceed? Well we've conducted um, sweeps of the area on foot and using the police dogs. Of course uh, the inclement weather, the weather doesn't help us too much. Um, we've conducted some door knocks, we'll no doubt uh, expand our door knocks over the next day or so. Um, certainly around the businesses in Pickering Street, it's a, it's a very um, busy street. We'll um, increase our patrols, uh, particularly in that area. We'll alert the, um, the local schools, um, private and um, the state-run schools. Uh, we're hopefully, we've, um, when we've finished our interviews today with those witnesses, we'll have a, a better idea of a des description. We're hoping to get some sort of a confit if that's possible out there. Um, it'll be uh, the local um, uh, detectives will conduct some investigations in relation to uh, you know, our local knowledge on the area. Um, but look, someone, there will be someone out there who, um, who, who, who will picture someone with a lazy eye, wears a stud or an earring in one of his ears, um, is, is short, balding from the front, um, who wears uh, you know, a white oversized um, T-shirt or singlet today. Um, there will be someone, if he is a local, that will jog someone's memory and we ask those people to come forward and help us. Did you say anything to her? No, I won't go into any of the conversation um, because, and can I just say, we're still in the process of formalising a statement with the witness, so um, uh, I'd be going beyond my bounds of knowledge to say anything more. And was it only today that they, other witnesses had seen this bloke? Or was That's correct, yeah. We have no reports of any suspicious behaviour previously to today. Um, um, we have no other similar incidents like this, so today is the first um, time... Uh, by our appeal, that may jog people's memories about um, some other behaviour. Sometimes people see something suspicious but they don't report it. We ask them to come forward. Thank you.